this video, we're going to explore how to make data such as your phone numbers, email addresses, and links interactive in a Max application. G'day, I'm Chris Muir from the Oracle mobile platform team. Now, regardless if an app is built for consumer needs or enterprise staff, users demand a high level of interaction in their mobile apps. It's not good enough to just show data as text. If you display an email address, users want to be able to tap on that address and open the mobile's email app ready to go. If you have a mobile number, again, users want to be able to tap on that number and ring the number straight away from the mobile device. And if you display a URL or a URI to a website, tapping on the URL should open the mobile's browser so the user can view the website. As such, I'd like to quickly demonstrate how to set up these three very scenarios in an Oracle Mobile Application Accelerator app. Before looking at Max, we need to quickly look at the business object that will deliver the email, mobile, and URL addresses for our Max app use from an MCS API. So, in this MCS API, you can see I return a list of employees. And each employee has fields, an ID, name, email address, mobile number, and a Facebook page as a URL. It's this data we'll use in our Max app. Returning to Max, I've already created an application called Employees, which, as its first screen, displays a list of employees from the MCS API. In addition, I've already created a detail screen for a selected employee that shows the employee's details, including their ID, names, and the fields we're interested in, the email, mobile, and the URL. Now you'll notice in the details page for the selected employee that the email address, mobile and URL are just rendered as plain old text and we can't click and interact with them. So let's fix that now. For the details page, if we select the email address, then visit the properties palette, we can then change the field type to an email address rather than plain text. In a similar fashion for the mobile number, we can change its field type to a phone number. Finally, for the URL or URI, we can change it to a link. So, what I've done here is download the app to my iPhone, and now I'm recording the screen for you to see, see what actually really happens on a real device. As you'll note, when I click on the email address, my iPhone's email app opens with the email address in the to field pre-populated, ready for me to send an email. Returning to our app, clicking on the mobile number, you can see this opens my iPhone's phone app and starts dialing. And I better cancel that here, otherwise I'm gonna get somebody out of the bed in the US. And finally, if I tap on the Facebook URL here, you'll note that Max opens the browser and in turn opens the URL that we supply. In this case, visiting the Oracle Facebook page, which I use as example data. So overall, with these three little tweaks for email addresses, mobile numbers, and URLs, we can make our app more interactive, saving our users valuable time. Could you imagine having to copy and paste each of these values between the applications rather than just clicking on them? What a pain in the butt that would be. Anyway, hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Hope to catch you in the next video soon.